Okay, welcome back to Sonic Heroes. Last time we did, we did Team Dark with Maddie and Jason, and now we're doing uh, Team Rose with two more guests, so why don't you both introduce yourselves? Hi. Is <laughs> all you got? My name's Lewis. I'm a guy, I think. Um... <laughs> <laughs> I may or may not be human, I'm not sure. Go on. Uh... uh... Okay. Hey guys, my name's Hub. My name's Hub Pi. I made that one Mega Man video on Fully Charged. That's like my claim to fame right there. <laughs> I, and, I, and I just tweeted something earlier and it got a massive, it got some good amounts of re <laughs> some retweets and uh, being Twitter famous for a day is nice. Yeah, I, I know the feeling. Like you just, most of the time you get like no attention and then just randomly one tweet and you get like 50 <laughs> like notifications. Notifications uh, galore today. It's been amazing. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, I, I, what's, I don't know what your history of Sonic Heroes is, Lewis, but this was one of the first 3D games I played because I remember. Yeah. Uh, I'm just getting into the, the franchise uh, in 2009, 10. I remember getting a bunch of Sonic games for a birthday, and this was one of them. And I have a kind of love-hate relationship with this game because right. the first time I played this game, I despised it. I hated <laughs> how the game handled. I hated how because this game is just full of jank. It's not. It's not. Yeah, yeah. This game is full of jank. Like consistency with this game is it just all over the place. Yeah. Yeah. Personally, I really like it, but even I can say like that. There's like even to me sometimes I have to deal with jank every now and then. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Like, but like, no game is perfect. Let's be real. Yeah, but no. like, it's something about Sonic games that uh, just you kind of just expect some kind of form of jank. And it's uh, in the whichever kind of jank, it, weirdly enough, it ends up being some of the mo some of the most fun. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it ends up being really fun once you get the hang of things. Like this game, when you when you know what to do, when you mastered all the jank, and you can control how things go, it's actually kind of a fun game to play. Yeah. Which is, which is where the the love part of this game comes in because when I eventually sat down and kind of tried to get the hang of the game, I actually started to get into it a bit. Yeah, this like, is. I could play Team yeah. Sonic uh, and the, and Team Rose pretty comfortably, and even some sections in Team Dark I can play casually. Yeah, if I'm replaying this game, it's usually Team Sonic and sometimes Team Dark because like once you really get used to how the game plays and. Some of the like the jank and stuff. It's actually really fun to just do a do one playthrough of every now and then. Yeah. Uh, another comment I want to make about this game was that, that usually amongst people in my age group, uh, it, it was either this game or Sonic Adventure 2 Battle that was their first Sonic game. Yeah. This was the first Sonic game I actually heard about because okay. of like TV commercials and I had those little like McDonald's uh, electronic games. That they had in like Happy Meals and stuff. My f my first experience with Sonic was like uh, when I was actually two. Hmm. Like, cause oh, wow. Because according because uh, according to my parents, I was playing games since I was like two before I could even talk. So. Oh my god. And I think the Sonic One for the Master System was one of the games one of the games I started playing. So that was my literally my first Sonic experience. Hmm. That's not a bad one to start off with. Yeah. Not really. I love I love that game to bits to this day. <laughs> yeah, it, has, it actually has some things I prefer over the Genesis version. Like I prefer finding the Chaos Emeralds. Am mm. I the only one who likes like the uh, Labyrinth Zone theme from the Master System uh, more than the uh, more than the Mega Drive version? I don't think I ever got that. I don't far. know if I'd say if I like it more than the Genesis version, but I do really like that theme. I I don't think I ever Wait, beat I, I don't think I ever beat Sonic One Master System. It's actually not that hard. Like, I just recently played it a while ago. It's actually not that hard. Well, it's not, to be fair, it's not Kirby easy, but it's still... No, no it's not Kirby easy, but it's, like, it's not too bad. Yeah. I'd say it's in the middle ground, like, Forces, something like that. I I'd say it's harder than Forces. <laughs> like, oh, yeah, the, the, Forces it, is, it, like... What am I saying? Yeah, Forces is, like, the... the you're like, drunk again. Like, that's, like, the... I've only had one drink, play off. <laughs> <laughs> Force is like the e as like easy as you can get with Sonic, really. Yeah, like like this mode. To get back onto this game. This is yeah. the beginner mode. 
yeah. of this game, meaning that stages are usually half as long, there's not nearly as many enemies, they're yeah. more lenient on it, and this is... Team Rose is who I like to call Chaos Emeralds farmers, because if you don't yeah. get Chaos Emeralds with any other team, just play them. Yeah. They'll accumulate. They're you don't just, have to... Just literally you don't have the, uh, the easiest to get Chaos Emeralds with them. Uh, yeah. j just by nature of their stages being short, because, uh, like, if you do, like, Chaos Emerald farming for, like, Team Dark or something, you're gonna have to go through, like, a six to eight minute stage. I did, I did Chaos Emerald farming with Team Sonic before I knew about yeah. Team Rose on yeah. my first playthrough. Yeah, I'm definitely doing, if I, next time I go through uh, Sonic Heroes, I'm definitely gonna do uh, Chaos Emerald farming in this story, then. Yeah, well, w for the longest time, I thought you had to collect it in all four stories. Oh, no. You're that, not playing yeah. Sonic Advance 2, Lewis. Yeah, <laughs> I know. Like, I, I like Sonic Advance 2, don't get me wrong, but damn. Like, yeah. I don't know don't whose think. idea was that to be like, oh, let's have it to be where if you want to finish the game, you have to get all Chaos Servants of all characters. Yeah. Four times. Didn't, um... Didn't Sonic, uh, didn't Sonic Heroes come out after Sonic Advance 2? Uh... I'm not sure. I... I think it came out before Heroes. If not, if it didn't come out before, it came out roughly the same time. Like it's maybe like a year or two. I want to say it was bef uh, it was before Heroes because wasn't Cream supposed to debut in Advance Two? Yes, she was. Okay. So Advance Two came out mm -hmm. before this game. Yeah. Well, having said that, then with the uh, whole uh, with the whole because I, I literally just uh, learned obviously. With the, uh, the cumulative chaos emeralds thing, this is what I can imagine. With the system in Sonic Advance 2, that was probably what they had planned for Heroes as well. But having mm. uh, having learned what the hell? What the fuck? What? Save. What? Wow! What even happened there? That's good old Sonic Heroes jank right there. That's never happened to me before. <laughs> you better start getting used to that shit because it happens a lot. Well. So I can imagine that with the um, uh, that with with the uh, like with possible feedback about uh, Chaos Sam was taking too long to be uh, uh, to be got uh, to be gotten, especially for the last story. Yeah. That, that that it was a possible last minute decision to make it only for one. Well, well mm -hmm. whenever it's they. It's speculation, but like. Yeah. Whatever the case may be, I'm just happy they made it so you only had to get the emeralds once. Huh? I know what I'm doing. But like usually, what I I tend to just get the emeralds, uh, like as I'm just playing through the teams, and if I like miss any with like Team Sonic, I just eventually just get them with the other teams. Mm. And like if I got any cast emeralds so far? Huh? Have you gotten any emeralds so far? Um, I'm mi I'm only missing the one in Bullet Station, I think. Okay. So, so you only have to get one. Yeah. So, uh, also, yeah. Also, uh, well, just one thing, I forgot the fact that uh, Team Ro uh, Team Rose have a, uh, uh, have a tutorial stage. Oh, um, like, yeah, like, we were busy talking about other things at the time, but, like, the thi I really don't like that they force you into a tutorial with Team Rose, cause, and I get that it's the easy mode, so they want to ease the player in and all that, but there's a tutorial mode in the main menu, so, like, at most, they should have just said, do you need to like a tutorial to know, learn how to play the game and just put yes or no? Don't force the player to do it. Hell, even Kirby has that though. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's such a pace breaker, and one of the reasons why um, I don't tend to play Team Rose when I'm going through like a play for in uh, Sonic Heroes because like that is like that alone is just kind of a pace breaker to me, and like having to just skip Omi Michelle's text every five seconds is just it's just kind of tedious. Mm-hmm. But, so I don't take, know. I take it you're playing on some of the GameCube then, or at least a Wii. This is, uh, I'm playing this on a Wii, so... Yeah. I've only played the GameCube version of this game, because I've never yeah. played the janky, even jankier PlayStation 2 version. Yeah, PS2 is the worst. I've never played any other version. Yeah. I've heard the Xbox version ain't half bad, but, um, it, I've, I've heard the GameCube one just runs the best overall. Yeah, uh, I don't know if you've mentioned this in the any of the other runs, but this was the first multi-platform Sonic game. 
Oh yeah. no, I haven't actually mentioned that. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, this was like the first Sonic game where it was on all systems. Yeah. Yeah, and I, yeah, I remember that being on. Uh, I remember seeing when I was like eight, seven or eight. Would have been, this was this came out in two thousand three, right? Two thousand three, four, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think it was two thousand three for Japan and two thousand four for us, like January. I remember seeing the uh, advert in the. Uh, I don't remember, uh, Harry. Uh, you'll put, I don't know if you remember this, the Beano comic. Uh, I don't remember offhand. Uh, I remember the first time I saw, uh, heard of this game, I uh, saw the advert in the comics, so. Uh, but that, and I remember seeing on that Sonic's uh, PS2 debut, and I was like, okay. <laughs> I, uh, despite then, I didn't know, I realized the ramifications or what had happened, because yeah. obviously I was a bit, more, a, bit, a bit more ignorant to what was going on. Uh, oh, of course, cool, same. I didn't know about, like, the whole, like, uh, Sega going third party and all that until much later. It's like we were fucking kids back then. <laughs> yeah, I know. But then I remember, uh, but, uh, I know on the GameCube version it's called All New Sonic. Yeah. But that was, but that was probably because of the fact that you had a Sonic Adventure 2 battle two years before. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of funny how SA2 got ported first and then, and then it was SA1. Good. That's how that game became really popular, I believe. I don't know if yeah. the original Dreamcast release got any traction, but I know mm. the, the Adventure 2 battles when the game got really popular. Yeah, because I know SA2 came out when the Dreamcast was basically just dying. <laughs> yeah, the fact that they managed to get their rivals to get Sonic on their console uh, literally just like a month, months after, uh, just after their console died. Yeah. Like, after the whole blast, profs, blast processing shit, the console was of the 90s. That's surprising, that's just surprising to me. Yeah. I mean, this is the same company who really fucked up the Sega Saturn launch. Yeah, I think, like, Sega's issue was, like, they kept on, like, moving, uh, moving consoles way too early, and it just made cu uh, customers just lose faith in them. Especially, no, like, their retailers, uh, didn't. Uh, stock any Sega products because of the whole Sa Saturn Day situation. Yeah. Yeah, but, and there's also the fact that this uh, 32X uh, had also it didn't help. Uh, 32X. Yeah. And, uh, also, Nintendo, I will say, are really good with branching out to the rivals. Yeah. They Especially yeah. nowadays. Especially considering Microsoft. Cool. Yeah. Hey, yeah. yeah, remember when Nintendo let Sega make an F Zero game? Oh yeah, they did at GX, didn't they? Yeah. Oh. I just dropped in the machine. Yeah. That's all you need. That's all you needed to win the uh, win the, the, the the war of Sonic Forces. Just bring uh, just bring big and let him big the cat. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, yeah speaking of big, uh, this is this is our all star team here. Amy Rose is the leader. Cream the rabbits. The the bunny bitch and <laughs> big the cat is the, 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 the it's a yeah, duke and, and big the cat is the the, the, the strong silent guy. He's also Duke Nukem. And I, I feel like Big's, uh, I feel like they made Big really badass in, like, the Archie comics. <laughs> where this, this motherfucker was strong enough to hold, like, a fucking robot Sonic back. Dang. And of course, <laughs> as of recently, he was, he was, he was, he was the best character in that Team Sonic Overdrive short. Oh, right, yeah. Oh, that was amazing. I love that. They brought Big back. I'm so glad. I never yeah. thought I'd be glad to see Big back, of all people. Because well, the thing, I always like enjoyed Big as a character, it was just his gameplay in SA1 that was the issue. That was what probably what uh, put a lot of people off of Big as a character. Yeah. yeah the people just like him because of the meme factor. <laughs> yeah. That's how a lot, that's how a lot of uh, characters nowadays uh, get the popularity because of the meme factor. The memes, yeah. Yeah. But, the guy, but being truthful and defense of Big, like, from a non-meme factor, he's a powerful, he's a powerful fucking... He's like a monster. He's a monster. Yeah. And you've also got um, A's. Actually, I don't know. Well, oh, okay. Say, like, he's um. That's correct. For someone who's so quiet and not particularly smart, he sure can pack the pain. The gentle yeah. giant. Yeah, I like how. Giant. I like how in SA one he just casually lifts up a car and goes into the sewers. I feel yeah. like I feel like there's a lot more to Big's character. Than, Peter, than, uh, than people let on, though. The whole, <laughs> the holy genesis of Big the Cat. 
I wonder if Big the Cat's gonna see a resurgence. I wonder what Big the Cat was doing during the uh, whole force of war. Uh -huh. Fishing. <laughs> yeah. I want to see like that. F I like... wonder why the sky's so dark. <laughs> I, I would like to see them do a thing like they did in SA2 Holy again. Shit, I didn't know I was in Gotham. <laughs> Like, it would be cool if they do something like an SA2 again where they just hide big in stages or something. <laughs> yeah, get seeds. Yeah. You just or, have or him just, run around. Or just in a, just in a boss battle, uh, there's a moment where it looks like uh, Sonic's about to be uh, about... Uh, like a cutscene where Sonic's about to be uh, defeated or something like that, and then uh, it just uh, pops him out of the background and body slams him. Ho ho! Ho ho! This is the world's fucking, like, save. Oh man. I, I want Big the Cat to become relevant again with good gameplay. He better be yeah. playable in the Mario Sonic game that just literally like, got like, announced, like, yesterday. Yeah, like, this is, like, this is, like, Big's best game appearance just because he's just going out there kicking ass and shit. Big yeah, is, yeah. Big is powerful, like... Yeah. He's actually, uh, like... The 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 the, uh, the trope crouching more on hidden badass applies. Pretty much. <laughs> but uh, yeah. I don't think I don't even think it's probably that big of more. He's just a bit uh, clueless about it for a few things, and his uh, speech doesn't have to definitely help him. No. Yeah. But uh, going back on the uh, Mario Sonic thing, was Big was never a playable character in those games? Um, I'm not sure. I know he was like. I've never a... played those games because I have no interest in them. They're decent mini game collections, uh, like everything after the uh, first one. Um, but the um, I, I think he was like a background detail in like the first game, but I don't know if he's ever been playable. Okay. Oh, I thought that was just another way around. I still never get that pole, uh, that pole physics. <laughs> like, oh, wind! Now we can swing on it. Yeah. Is this the first game where they... Actually, no, it's not. Because I was going to say, like, if this is, like, the first game where they try doing elemental stuff, but... the like, SA2, they kind of did some of that with, like, Sonic Wind, but, uh... You also have the elemental shields. That's true as well, I forgot about those. I feel like the Sonic Wind needs to come back as one of Sonic moves. Yeah, that'd be I cool. would be cool. I would really love it if, like, uh, you have, um... Oh, uh, a 3D it. game where all all three uh, of Team Sonic are playable with uh, with Sonic using Sonic Wind, uh, Tails with that energy ball thing, that arm cannon from Sonic Battle. Something yeah, like that'd be cool. That Mega Buster. Yeah, yeah. But basically they're not Mega Buster, and um, and Knuckles uh, punching with fire like in Sonic. Uh, yeah. Sonic like, like make it. It'll be cool. Yeah, just like make Some... like a, a heroes another heroes like game, but make every team feel. A bit more unique in what they can do. I feel like that's wind, what Team Sonic wind, Racing is trying to do. Wind, yeah. electricity, and fire. That's that's something I'd like to play. Like yeah. To yeah, like I feel like Team Sonic Racing is kind of a testing ground to see if, fa like, for one thing, it's another racing game, and those have been well received from the people who played it. And yeah, I feel like Team Sonic Racing is kind of a testing ground to see. It's, it's, I feel like it's them being like, okay, we don't know if fans really want this stuff back, but mm. we're, uh, we're going to see if they do want it, if this game does well. I think that's what Team Sonic Racing is for. Yeah. yeah like, I love the fact that um, they've got Sumo Digital uh, making it as well. Well, they, yeah, yeah they, they've made like the last two racing games, so... Also, t t t Sumo Digital from Sheffield, just saying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So this is so that game is made in uh, pretty much where I live. <laughs> I never played the, the racing games, though. Team Sonic Racing is looking pretty fun. All Stars yeah. Transform is probably one of the Yeah, best. I hear Transform's a great game. Transform is great. I, I have very minimal experience with the original, but Transform is actually an, an amazing game. I played the original to death. Yeah, I think mm. I played it once at a friend's house, but that's, like, it. Like, I love- I- it's one of my- it's one of the best kart races out there, I think. Yeah, yeah, I hear Transform is a very good game. Yeah. It's just it's just kind of funny how that game and the, the Crash Team Racing remake are coming out and pretty close. Yeah, yeah, like, it's a good time to be a car racer fan. 
pretty much. Even though, even though I'm not really a racing fan, no. I'll still pick up those games. Because I've heard but good things is about. Actually, one of my favorite, uh, favorite genres. Yeah, I, I feel like the reason I'm not really much of a racing fan is because Mario Kart Wii was the first kart racer I played, and I fucking hate that game. Really? Yeah. Mm, mm. Yeah, I don't think I don't think that's one of the better Mario Kart games. It's not. Played. It it it, it, it it's. One of the better ones. Yeah, because like Mario Kart Wii, like it, going back to it, it's um. But the AI is like really unbalanced in that. I feel. I and, think like, I think the AI might actually be at its worst in Mario Kart Wii in terms of just sheer like meanness. Yeah, that's what I mean. It's just like, and also the a lot of the items, like the um, <laughs> the STD cloud, as I like to call it, is just it's just annoying. To hey, remember with. the PAL block? Yeah. <laughs> but you know, that, that's Mario Kart Wii. But Mario Kart Eight is pretty good. Yeah. The only play. thing I, I'll give Mario Kart Wii this: it introduced the uh, the bikes, which are a really cool addition, I think. Yeah, and they uh, brought they brought in best Princess Rosalina to the to the Mario Kart series. Yeah, boy, my man knows. Yeah. <laughs> also, there's yeah, that's the end of the stage. I forget how and short I, these I, are. I Jeez. Like the, I feel like the reason I don't go back to Team Rose very often is just I feel like the stage ends just when it starts to get good. Yeah, it's just I guess it's a similar feeling to how I feel about forces levels in a sense because. Like, it just ends too fast, like, a lot, I, I hear a lot of people say, like, Team Rose is more comfortable because they don't want to go through really long levels, which is fine, but for me, I tend to go with Team uh, Team Sonic when I play this game because I feel like I'm getting the most out of my buck, and I, I don't know, I enjoy, I enjoy the levels uh, for Team Sonic's length, personally. Okay, Harry, you know the strategy here. Just win to win. Yeah. These, these fights... I feel the, like these, these fights, fights are, are dumb. Are, are good places to show the amount of jank in this game. Yeah, these fights are just bad. <laughs> they're bad, yeah. They're unbalanced and they're pretty fucking horrendous. It's pretty funny though. Yeah. <laughs> I I remember like do, doing the two-player battle mode version of this, and we just had no idea what we were doing. <laughs> Where even are they? Uh. What? <laughs> oh my lord. Just die. Die, bitch! Is he dead? Oh no, he's right there. <laughs> Come on. Oh my god. He, he won't let you kill him! This usually takes like 10 seconds. <laughs> yeah, these fights can either end in 15 seconds or they'll take 2 minutes. Okay, just... Just ho-ho! Oh, oh. oh, oh. <laughs> Eat oh, shit, dickhead! Eat shit, dick ray! <laughs> 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 oh, god. Oh, man. He fucking dead yet? Oh, no! He's not dead yet! Come on! Kill him! There we go. Oh, yeah, boy, he's dead. That took way too long. That's probably gonna be like a D. <laughs> D. You didn't spin enough. Fuck <laughs> you. Oh, yeah. oh, okay. I'll take that. <laughs> oh wow! I think if you, I think you get an A if you beat them in under thirty seconds. Yeah, it's like That's they. Nuts. It's like they want you to cheese it. It's like they know it's bad. Casino yeah. Park. Speaking of bad. Yeah, fuck my stage. Trust no. I hate this hey, stage. So hey, man. Much. I, I, and I know this stage is shit, but Bingo Highlight Way is looking pretty lit in Team Sonic Racing. Right, yeah. true. I, I, I'll give this, uh, I'll give this some credit, like, it is, it is kind of unique in the sense that just, like, having a pinball table thing, like, go into actual platforming, because, um, SA1 just had, like, a normal slot machine and it didn't really go into any kind of platforming or any kind of level design or anything like that. And, it um, did if you were on under 100 rings. You would go into the sewers. Well, yeah, I get that. But, like, what I mean is that... Um, th You're talking this... about full stage, right? Basically, yeah. Uh, like, th this okay. get this stage basically goes into a pinball st uh, table, and then it transitions into some platforming, and then just keeps going like that. It controls, like, complete crap, and uh, the execution is garbage, but the... <laughs> Harry, I think you're underselling how shitty this is. No, no, I, I, I think this is the worst stage in the game by far. You think so? Yeah. Uh, I'm not gonna argue that. It is a pretty awful stage. 
Yeah. Like, I remember when I first played this game, I had to train myself to get used to these fucking pinball physics. Yeah. What physics? Are there even physics in this stage? No, uh... it's just bullshit. I don't mind just being... I don't even think the collision detection... There's any collision detection at all on anything. <laughs> just, it just it just does whatever it wants. Yeah, it's pretty just, much. Someone's decided uh, just to put random collision detection in random places and just thinks, hey, this will be good. This will be fun. Yeah, is the problem yeah. is like trying to get because like at this stage you have to go like up the pinball table to get oh out. Oh my most god, of Harry, them. you actually managed it. <laughs> yeah, like but like. These controls are not built for trying to go up the pinball sta uh, tables. When you when you no, have to when you uh, go down uh, go down them, which is most of Bingo Highway, they aren't as bad. Yeah, no, it's going up. You realize how how much jank this has. Yeah. My head's spinning. Also, can I just say for one thing, the voice direction was subpar in this game. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was. It was the, this was the last big game the old cat, the first voice cast had. I know their last yeah. game was, I think, oh, Advance yeah. Three. Yeah, it was Advance Three. But mm. uh, this was like I think their last big game, and uh, yeah. it's, it's not that great. No, not really. Come on, Harry. Yeah, yeah you I did it. Yeah, I, I, I always skip that part. Let's go, boys. Cheese strap. What? Oh no. No. <laughs> Pig's still let there. In. Let him come in. Yeah, big... There we go. Yeah, yeah, there yeah big, go. Was, big was still there. But, um... <laughs> I love the fact that uh, Big just reaches out. It's on that. <laughs> just, uh, just to open that door. Like, yeah. everybody has to try the hardest and put them all way behind, but then it's just Big just like. Mm -hmm. oh. So, uh, uh, Lois, have you, like, talked about how you generally feel about heroes yet? I. It's not in my top 10. Okay. But I definitely don't think it's anywhere near bad. Yeah. I have a love hate relationship, as I mentioned earlier. Because when this yeah. game is fun, I, I enjoy the hell out of it. But when it gets yeah. bad, oh man. Yeah, I. Um... It, mm. I'll, I'll admire the ambition in some places, but sometimes those things just don't work. My. Oh, yeah, we got a two player mode. You have... Special stage in two player mode. Now you can experience the jankness with someone else. Yeah. <laughs> uh, like, I. When I'm playing this game again, like I said, it's usually with Team Sonic, and uh, I don't tend to do like full game playthroughs of this. And there's a, there's a reason why I'm having guests for like, the other teams because it's literally just the same game three other times. And you need people to talk to. Yeah, yeah, yeah just cause... to cope with the grind. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, because like th that's my main issue with the game, like. I, I really enjoy just doing one playthrough, but doing a full run of like to final story and all that, it just falls apart because it's just it's it, it's just kind of monotonous having to do this three other times. I don't mind Chaotix that much because it's something different and um, it breaks up the uh, tedium a little bit by just being something a bit unique. But you know, even then. Okay, Yuri. Now that you mentioned that, how do you feel about? games like Sonic Adventure, or the Adventure games, where they have different gameplay styles, but to other people, they might feel like, oh, I don't want to play a, a style I don't like. Whereas this game, you're, you're play, basically playing the same game multiple times, and if you like the gameplay, well, you'll probably like playing the game a few times. But what if the you thing... don't want the gameplay, then rip. The thing yeah, with right? that... Yeah, right? The, the thing with that is that... Oh, it missed! No. <laughs> oh, rip, do it again. <laughs> no. <laughs> Playthrough's over, I restart. Flip. Yeah! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Uh, when that, uh, that that bit's not yet when she says it, but hopefully hopefully it will. Hopefully it will uh, come. Yeah. Uh, oh, what, what was I talking about? <laughs> uh, yeah, I was ask I was asking you about like if. In the adventure games, you have more gameplay variety. Oh. Than one, someone doesn't like the other gameplay styles. What are they only like one? They'll probably like this game more. That's fair enough. But if you don't like enough. this gameplay style, then rip. Tough luck, <laughs> I guess. But like, yeah, the, the, tough luck, yeah. The thing with um, me is that this is actually one of my favorite play styles in the series. If a little bit. Like, it, it's flawed and it needs some work, but I do like a lot of its concepts and whatnot. But. Uh, even even I like 
even I get can get tired of it just doing the same thing four t like four times. And I honestly prefer um I, I would honestly pr prefer the adventure games where uh, every pl everyone plays differently and the stages are like di uh, differently designed enough to make it feel fresh. Fair and, enough. You know, yeah. So I take it you're excited about Team Sonic Racing kind of doing the team thing again? Yeah, I'm interested to see like how that goes, if they do any more. I'm just more. trying to think of what kind of role I'd play in a team, like which, uh, which, which character type I'd play. Yeah. Because I don't know how like, uh, if there's going to be some sort of uh, gameplay differences mm. between each type, so... I've heard like... The best uh... feature of that game, the best feature of that game is oh. having customizing your car to make Shadow's car pink, and him being completely best, content oh, with that. The best game is the uh, Final Egg remix. That is pretty good. Final Egg like from Sonic Adventure? Yeah, yeah, I did not expect them to remix that. I, was... I have not listened to that yet. I need to listen to that. I wasn't oh, expecting uh... them to remix uh, Sand... like, Sand Hill? Sand Hill. Yeah. Like, I didn't expect them to bring in uh, T. Lopes. Yeah. Yo, know, T. Yeah. Lopes is like another music god. Yeah. Team Lopes franchise. Is, T. Lopes is uh, is indie composer Jesus. Pretty much. Yes. Pretty much. And not only because of the fact that he's a god at uh, god at remixing, he's actual Jesus. Have you seen that <laughs> fucking beard? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, uh, yeah, I, Bingo Highway, that's the stage that Team Sonic Racing is bringing back, I think. Yeah. Oh, did they, did they uh, have, re have they remix have they released the remix of Bingo Highway? I they think should they did. Be. They should have, I yeah. think they did. Involved in that one. Uh, I don't know. Let me check. Let, actually, uh, I'm, gonna go, I'm gonna go and have a look and uh, see if there's a remix uh, see if the playlist. Bingo Highway. Team Sonic Racing. Yeah. Super Duper YouTube channel. Happy. No, it's not. Yeah, bingo. It's called Bingo Party, but it's basically right. Bingo Highway. Yeah. Okay, so now we have. So we're getting to our third type of boss, the fucking enemy rush. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. These are the. I'm not gonna lie. I think it's either a tie between the team battles or this I hate the most. Yeah. Because <laughs> it just I... feels like a, it feels like two minutes of hey. Big beat the shit out of robots you've already fought throughout the game. Yeah. I, yeah, the, the bosses in this game aren't really this- aren't really a strong suit. No, they're not. No. Also, yeah. also in terms of Team Sonic Racing, you've got- you've got Green Light Ride. Welcome back to the course, by the way. <laughs> yeah, oh right, yeah. Oh, my yeah. God, they're finally back. I missed them. Yeah, right. What was the last game they were, they ever sung music for? Sonic and the Black Knight. I think. I think. Yeah, the the last like well, they the um I know that uh, they did some stuff for Generations. Right. Surprised that game didn't have like a theme. I would have. Yeah, no, like that. Sonic, and last they missed, World didn't they have missed a theme. It Sonic Youth. Nope. Yeah, they could have Sonic used Sonic would Youth. Have, would have been a perfect. Would have yeah. Been perfect, but they really re released the song in 2012 and just said this is absolutely nothing to do with Sonic bullshit. When you've got all so the, how about uh, that thunder shoot? <laughs> oh god, that, that thunder shoot is so fucking broken. I know. It's like it can't just kill the turtles, but yeah. Oh yeah. Um. I know that t Lopes did Boo's House in Team Sonic Racing. Oh, that one's great. I think he did Sinopolis as well. Um, Mark I think Street, he did. You've got June Sinoi in Hyper Potions. Yes! Yep. I think they did roof, the rooftop run one. Uh, they also, yeah, that's what I mean. Market Street is the rooftop run. Right, right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my god, they brought back Whale Lagoon from, uh, from uh, Sonic uh, and Sega All Stars Racing. Mm. Uh, that's got uh, hyper potions and June Snowy again. Yeah, I love the fact that hyper potions is also is a is a uh, good composer. Yeah, they made some pretty kick-ass themes for the Mania trailers. Pretty yeah, much. June Snowy, T Lopes, and Takashi Tanida. So um, this is yeah. Sand Road. 
I'm sorry, I'll stop listing them. <laughs> but I'm just so excited for this soundtrack. Oh yeah. <laughs> like, Team it, Sonic it, Racing soundtrack. What Sonic the hell? Smash, yep. Team Sonic Racing. I, I Sonic always do Smash that. Ultimate remixes. Is this, is this Team Ro is this Team Rose exclusive? No, no, no. You can always do that. Oh my I, no. I the always do that. The real mechanics in this game were, were very jank. Yeah, like, I was gonna say these like these real mechanics are not good. They're yeah. not. Dang it. Oh, also, uh, they brought back Richard Jacks for the uh, ocean view. Sweet. Speedrun tech boy. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go, boy. Let's go. Yeah. Make history. <laughs> like uh, I was gonna say, like uh, the the rails. Well, first things first. How do you guys feel about like the rails in this game? Awful. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Well, oh, yes. I think the worst in the series. Honestly. Yeah, they, they are. Imagine, they... imagine this stage with uh, Sonic Generation slash Sonic Unleashed controls. Oops. Yeah. Yeah. But, it's uh, like the, the thing... thing with the rail switching in this game is that, at least in my experience, it will always fail if you're going too fast. That's why whenever yeah. I switch rails, I either jump off the rail into the next one, or I slow down with the the flight formation, and I... it, has, it slows down enough to where I can comfortably switch rails because if you yeah. go too quick on these rails you will fall off of them my strategy tends to be like whenever i switch rails i stop crouching and that usually helps me usually like how much how much of that like like 80 about percent of the time maybe yeah 80 90 percent <laughs> well, um, it's, it, it's not even like foolproof yeah you just have to be careful what you're doing uh but the thing with the grinding in this game is that it's like it, it doesn't have like the like the final complexity that the SA2 grinding has, and it's even more janky than that version's grinding or that I game's grinding. Really got, I never really fully got used to the SA2 grinding, to be honest. That's that took some time for me. That's actually um, like jank aside. That's actually my favorite um, um, version of grinding, because just because of how flexible it is and how much speed you can get from it. Um, it's the most mechanically evil involved uh, yeah. grinding in the series. But because of that, there's more chances for things to go wrong. Or f for things to go wrong, and the like, the stuff in the modern games, uh, it's more stable, but it's also a lot more scripted, and you can't really get much out of it. And um, I don't know, like, just if they tried bringing back the com complexity of the SA2 one with the uh, tightness of the modern games, that would be. Like, really good, I think. I appreciated I Sonic Lost World trying to make levels out of rails. That was cool. Yeah. I appreciated that. Yeah. Just uh, seeing all these rails everywhere, though. God damn. Yeah, How do I... people get around this place? They don't. <laughs> they don't. There's trains. Uh, yeah. I guess. But, like... But, uh, if, if, mm. I was, I was going to say, uh, going back on your point about the... Uh, yeah, about uh, the complexity of uh, the uh, Sonic Adventure 2 rails with the, yeah. with the tightness of. I was just saying, like, it need there needs to be that sort of like uh, middle ground because yeah. both both play styles were uh, were good in their own rights, but if there was yeah. some sort of ground, then I think everybody's happy in that regard. Just don't right. bring back the Sonic Heroes uh, time. Do, yeah. do not have the Sonic Heroes Jakeness rails. No. I think the main thing is that there's no like animation to switching rails. You just kind of yank to the side. You snap to the next rail. Yeah. Like, that's one thing I'll give uh, Shadow. Like, they that game started the whole, uh, actually jump between rails. But, you know, 